back to another video. First things first, my nails. They are not sore, they're not bleeding. It is alcohol ink. Yes, everybody told me, make sure you wear gloves. Don't forget your gloves, Aggie. Best if you wear gloves, Aggie. Did I wear gloves? No, I didn't. The first colour I made was pink. I got myself covered in it and then decided to put gloves on. But yeah, we're three days in, so you can imagine what they were like. I've no videos left, so I've no choice but to get on camera and film. Could have put gloves on, but I don't like wearing gloves. So yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah, they look sore, they're not sore. It is pink alcohol ink, so I'm not happy. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do today, I don't know if any of you saw these in one of my haul videos. They are pigment powders, but in the list, you, you can't see them on camera. You really can't, they all look the same. But like this one's got like a pinky purple shift to it. This one looks like it might have like a bronzy gold shift. You can't see them on camera. Um, yeah, they're pigment powders, but they are Aurora pigment powders. So what I've done is I've painted some tips black. I've painted some tips white. <laughs> and for clear, because I didn't want to use clear tips and have this showing underneath. So for the clear, to try it over clear, I'm gonna do it on swatch sticks. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use top coat. Um, let me grab a top coat. I think I'm just gonna use a cheap top coat actually. Um, I'm just gonna use one of these top coats. I've not tried it yet. Um, and the way I do my, when I'm using chrome powders, I normally just top coat it as normal, cure it in the lamp as normal, and I'll rub the chrome powder on it whilst it's still warm. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we'll start it over the white tips, then we'll do it over the black, and then we'll do it over the clear. Right, I'm going to try this one first, number one. I've cured my tips now for just under 20 seconds so actually we're gonna have to do them one after the other aren't we because I've put top coat on all of them damn <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work as well now I've let them cool down but we shall see right so this is number one Let's see what number one does. Should I bring you in a little bit closer? Let's see what number one looks like. Now I have seen quite a few swatches with these Aurora powders and they don't look great over a white. You don't really get much from them over a white, but we'll see. So that's number one over a white. Um, not much really. This one's number two. I think you're gonna see these better over the clear and the black. Oh, actually, I like this one. It's got like a UV kind of blue, like a UV ultraviolet color through it. I really don't think you're gonna see them on camera. Yeah, you really can't see them too well. I'll turn the lights down at the end. Might be able to see them a bit better then. Right, let's try number three. This one's got like a blue, not a UV blue, but a lighter blue kind of shade to it. Yeah, you're not going to see these over a, a white at all, I don't think. This is number four, with a bit of fluff. This one's got like a, like a chestnut red kind of shift to it. You're not going to be able to see him on camera. I kind of knew this over a white anyway. And this is number five. Oh, this is nice. This has got like a purple, pinky purple shift to it. You can't see him on camera. That's really, really nice. 
really nice that one you can kind of see it on my finger oh well, there's all different colors on my finger now but yeah you can't see them it's got like a purple shift to it that one right so now i think we'll try we'll do we'll do the swatch sticks there right i'm gonna get these top coated and we'll see what it looks like over these right let's try again over these clear ones so this is the first one number one don't really see much colour in that one at all. I really don't see much colour in that. Yeah, I really don't see much colour in that one. It's got a bit of a gold, a bit of a gold shift, but really not much. Right, let's try number two. Yeah, this is the one that looked a bit like ultraviolet kind of purple. I like that one. You can see that a little bit better over the clear. You can see that a little bit better, can't you? I can see them a lot better than the camera's showing. The camera's not really showing much. Right, this is number three. Again, this one looks like it's got a bit of a goldy like a goldy chestnutty type color I don't know I can't explain it they're ever so slight aren't they number four I'm dripping them everywhere they're all going to be mixed <laughs> I would have been better using my finger this is like a pinky like got a pinky shift Oh, the camera's just not picking it up. It's such a shame. It is such a shame. I think you're going to see them best over the black, definitely. If the camera doesn't pick them up on black, then nothing will. <laughs> and this one's like a really, like a deeper purple. A lot deeper, that one. And again, the camera's not showing it. You can see the colour slightly, what it is on camera. It's just not showing it as as prominent as it is, if you will. So yeah, that's them over clear. You really can't see much. You can see what colours they're supposed to be, um, but the camera's just not showing them up at all, not really. You can see that that's a purple, kind of a pink, yellow, blue, green. Right, so shall we try them over the black? And see what we get with the black right so shall we try the black and move that out of the way because I don't want to mix, mix them in I'm sorry if you can hear fireworks it's um, nearly bonfire night so everybody's setting fireworks off so this one over black looks like a, a greeny kind of color nice colour actually can you see that it's like a green I've tried to change my lighting so you can see what I'm seeing especially with the clear ones because you just can't see what I'm seeing but that's a bit better with the black you can see the green a lot better um, yeah let's try the next one I think this is going to be my favourite this um, kind of UV one I've under cured these and I don't normally do that but I wanted to try it like everybody else try, does it now I've got a better lamp but I don't think it's going on as smooth that's a lot smoother than the green one actually that's like a blue I quite like that that's nice yeah it's a lot better effect over a black isn't it a lot better over a black Try the next one. Yeah, this one's like a yellowy, like a yellowy gold kind of colour. It's not quite gold, but it's not quite yellow. 
somewhere in between <laughs> it's like um i don't know yeah it's just in between a yellow and a gold i like it i like that one right this is number four this is the one that i thought looked a bit like a a really light kind of chestnut red it's got like a chestnut red kind of shift to it yeah I'm not too keen on them over an under cured top coat it's got a bit of a chameleon shift to it this one again my camera's not showing it's like an orangey brown it's like a goldy bronze and shifts to a red they're different, they are different. I've not got anything like this in my collection. Right, and this is the last one, number five. Oh, I like this one. I think it's going to be a toss up between this one and the blue one for me. Again, this has not gone on very well because I didn't properly cure the top coat. It looks best down this side. Yeah, that's like a purpley one. Can you see? Can you see where it's not cured and gone on very smooth there? But you can see it best on that side. I like that. My favourite is a toss-up between these two. Definitely. Definitely. So, yeah, they are definitely best over a black. They're really not any good over a white. You can't see much at all. At all. But over a black, yeah, you can definitely see them a lot better. A lot better. Right, there we are, guys. I thought I'd quickly show you them top-coated. I've turned my lights right down so you can see them. That's them with a the top coat. I really like them. But you're definitely getting a much better effect over the black. I'm not going to show you the white because you can hardly see them. But they're like, um, they're like a dusty kind of chrome, if you know what I mean. I really, really like them, actually. This would be cool for, like, a galaxy kind of nail, wouldn't it? Yeah, I really like them. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy with them. I'm happy with them, definitely. But, yeah, I even like them over the clear. If you're doing a clear nail, but you don't want it quite clear kind of thing. I love clear nails, but I don't like seeing the ends of my nails through the clear nails. So these would probably be ideal for that. You could have a kind of clear nail, but it would kind of disguise the end of your nail. So mine are atrocious. <laughs> but yeah, I quite like them. I do, I quite like them. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Please remember to hit the little bell as well so you never miss an upload. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.